grab your brick made up? No thanks. <laughs> I'm meaning to ask you, Miss Daniels, why aren't those gentlemen going back? Well, that's a long story. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't be surprised if at least one of them was with you pretty soon. <laughs> We're making a two-minute stop here. Anything you want? No, thanks. Where are we? We're making a stop at Needle Point. That's where they got the sanitarium. <laughs> Look, is there a new stand? Yes, ma'am. See if you can get a pull of Thursday's Los Angeles papers, will you? <coughs> They've got to be Thursdays right along. Right this way, sir. You need any help? Just a man from the sanitarium. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, this is a good deal of surprise. Please, sit down. Oh, thanks. Well. You're certainly the last person I... I hadn't heard you were ill, nothing serious, I hope. Uh, just a kind of a breakdown. Underwork. I can't that reception room without you. Then I heard about this place, a sanitarium here. Sounded pretty good, so I came out. Uh, a fellow named um, Jenkins runs it, playwright. Seems he came out here under contract, but couldn't stand the gas. Went mad in the eighth month. So he started this place. Doesn't take anything but playwrights. <laughs> oh, great. First three days, they put you in a room without a chair in it. And then they have this big art gallery, life-size portraits of all the studio executives. You see, for an hour every day, they let you go in there and say whatever you want to any picture. I see. I'll get your papers right now. <laughs> now, what's all this about? Going home on a visit? Well, going home. All washed up? Scrubbed. Really? I'm kind of surprised. I never quite got the hang of what you people actually did out there, but I got the idea you were in pretty solid. Something happened? Did you ever meet Dr. Lewis? I had quite the talk with Dr. Lewis. <laughs> well, Dr. Lewis did something no one had ever done before. He reminded Mr. Glowgar about turning the bike phone down, and that made him supervisor. Oh, only supervisor. And then there's Miss Susan Walker. Miss Walker is a young woman who has a good chance of becoming the world's worst actress. She's young yet, has plenty of time. <laughs> the doctor singed things up by starting and working with the wrong scenario. Some little thing from 1910, a picture over Wednesday. My recollection of the 1910 pictures is that they weren't so bad. They didn't have a doctor in those days. <sighs> Most of it you can't see because the doctor forgot to tell them to turn the lights on. This Walker has a set of gestures that does credit to a traveling Derek. And did you ever happen to hear about the doctor's bright, particular weakness? There's something else? It's called India nuts. Oh. I'm sure there's one around here somewhere. Anyway, he eats them. With sound. Just kept cracking right through the picture and they record it swell. That would take <laughs> That and... Other things. Funny. I should think there'd be a great field out there for a man that could turn out the wrong picture. Yes, if he could do it regularly, but sooner or later the doctor would make the right one. <laughs> Not the doctor. Maybe you're right. Here your papers, Miss Daniels. Thanks. I brought you a pillow. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> setting out for this. Might as well know the worst. Oh, here we are, I guess. Gingham and Orchids. Is that the name of it? That's it. And all talking, all singing. All lousy picture. Hmm. I guess that's what they mean by 100%. Never in the history of Hollywood has so tumultuous an ovation been awarded to any picture. No, down there. Herman Glogauer's Gingham and Orchids is a welcome relief to the avalanche of backstage pictures. It marks a turning point in the motion picture industry, a return to the sweet simplicity and tender wistfulness of yesteryear. It does say that? Indeed it does. A new star twinkled across the cinema heavens last night, and the audience took her at once to its heart. 
Here at last is an actress who's not afraid to appear awkward and ungraceful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 